Hey guys, welcome to this week's individual weekly video for the week of June 18th. And I'm so excited because this week is actually a really cool collaboration with a chance for you to win your own tarot deck from Hip Chick Tarot. We have got Maria coming up after my forecast, not only telling you a little bit about her cards and her tarot deck, but also giving each individual sign a little mini reading of what that card applies to for them for the week. So make sure you stay tuned after your forecast to see what Maria has to say for you as well. And make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe my page and Maria's for a chance to grab this tarot deck, which is phenomenal. All right, stay tuned for your forecast. Hi, Taurus. So this week, the week of June 18th, we are kicking off right away with the retrograde. Neptune, our planet of delusion, deception, fantasy, forgiveness, right? It is going retrograde. And what do we do during a retrograde? We re, we re-edit, re-evaluate, reconnect, reflect on, and you've got some reflection it's definitely time for. Now remember, Neptune is an outer planet. So the feelings of intensity you're going to have around this are not going to be the same as if an inner planet were to retrograde, but this is still a significant time for you. Neptune is taking her retrograde, and when she does that, what we get instead of foggy, hazy fantasy is a lot of clarity, right? So it is like, boom, the lights are on in a much different way. And very subtly, I think you start to see that over the next five months until November. Now, this is going retrograde in Pisces in your 11th house. Okay, Taurus, it is time to reevaluate the tribe, right? It is good to be known. It is good to be social. It is good to be loved. But who absolutely belongs in your tribe? Who is Team Taurus? And Taurus, by the way, who are you willing to show up for as well? This is an equal part kind of question. But the deal is you will have clarity as to who's got to go, where you've got to go from. And this is not just friends, but this is group associations. And this is also your long range goals, plans, dreams, desires, aspirations. Taurus, what doesn't fit anymore? It is okay to come current with your life, with your beliefs as you stand today in your fullness, in your power, in your reality, whatever's happening for you today. Where do you need to update so that you can be in the reality of things, not just in the fantasy of what you want to create? Yes, we need this Neptune energy to kind of have the inspiration, the fantasy to say, maybe that could never work out and then to bring it into reality. But right now it's all reality all the time. So use it very, very well. And I'm telling you, clean out the tribe if people don't belong there. Now, another thing I keep getting the sense of because um, this is the 11th house and it's a very social house, is it may be time to update your social medias, right? I mean, seriously, do you still have um, a profile picture up of you from five years ago? Is that the most current picture of you, especially if you're trying to do something in business or you're trying to represent yourself in the world? Come current with your social things. Or is it time for you, Taurus, to get out of your normal routine, right? And get into something social. Is there a project or a humanitarian something that you can take on? This may even be something in a spiritual community. I mean, we are talking about getting current with the tribe. Taurus, who do you have to support you? What does your support network look like? And if it looks like, feels like, oh, I don't have anybody, it's time to upgrade and it's time to update, right? Now, the 11th house also being a technology house, I just want to tell you, I really think about that as well. If your technology needs to be upgraded, you may get the sense of this, but more so than anything, what I think is that in your social interactions and things online, you gotta pull the spiritual card. Do not get on board with BS because I promise you, it's almost like you're being spiritually tested here, right? Is somebody putting up that political post and you're like, you're just getting fired up, but you don't really have facts, you just have feelings, right? Oh, let's avoid that. Do not get pulled into the BS, okay? 
All right. What else we've got going on this week is that the sun is moving into Cancer, so we have got summertime in the astrological world because we follow the seasons, not the constellations. So the sun moving into Cancer, for me, you're doing all of this updating to make sure you're supported, your technology looks good, right? You're behaving yourself out in public. You've even come current with your dreams. Now you get this sun energy to go make it happen. It's happening in your third house. What a social house. This is a networking house. This is the day of light we get light heat vitality coming with this season and it's time for you to get out there i mean seriously when's the last time you went to a networking group when's the last time you were in just a really social conversation or you studied something new right the third house is lit up with an excellence of skills at communication mental things maybe a road trip is it time for a road trip right it could be time for a little short distance road trip get yourself out of your normal comfort zone and nurture your communication nurture your planning this is a wonderful planning energy i just told you to come current with your your life path and your your dreams and your aspirations maybe it's time to see where the synchronicities lie that you never considered before this is a wonderful wonderful energy the other thing i think this energy is phenomenal for pay attention to this over the next four weeks please taurus maybe there is a friendship or an adversary or a collaboration or some kind of cooperation available to you that you didn't see before. And if you will just communicate, you can turn this into something that you never thought it would be. And you can turn it into something that's a really awesome opportunity. So pay attention to that this week, okay? And make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel and Maria's for your chats to win this beautiful tarot deck from Miss Maria at Hip Chick Tarot. And stay tuned right after me right here because Maria's not only gonna pull a card and give you something to focus on for the next week, but she's also gonna tell you just a little bit about the cards in the deck. Enjoy a brand new perspective, okay? I love you guys, I'll see you next week. This is Bye. secret knowledge, and this is a, a different spin on the Hierophant card. What I wanted to represent here is just the choices that you have available to you um, spiritually. There are so many traditions and so much wonderful knowledge that's been handed down to us that we can, um, you know, connect with whatever resonates with us. And I portrayed a few symbols here. There are so many more, you know, that I would have liked to, to get in here, but the card would have to be really big. So um, in this one, I chose the ancient symbol of the spiral, which means eternity and evolution. The purity of mind represented by the lotus, uh, transformation by the snake, the ancient Christian symbol of, of the fish, and the ankh, which represents life itself and the afterlife so it, i would have loved to put um you know the hindu symbol in here and um ancient jewish symbols and um muslim and so many more but like i said i could only fit so many in this little card the point here is um is you being empowered to pick what resonates with you and how important it is in the spiritual journey to um, draw on these traditions um, and this collective knowledge that we've been given. Because it's a modern deck, it really reflects our situation. I mean, she has, this woman has access to all of these traditions because we have access to the internet and to um, Many of us have access to libraries and bookstores. So this is all really available at this time. And that's, that's a real blessing. For me, I was brought up Catholic. And so um, that tradition was introduced me to spirituality. But later in life, I really connected with Buddhism. And, you know, I went to sanghas where I met teachers and fellow students who really supported my journey. And that was, was a great, great eye-opener for me and for my path. 
The card encourages you um, to become part of a, a religious practice or to um, be a solo practitioner, whatever that, that is and however that works for you. Practically, the card is just talking about um, taking advantage of the knowledge that's out there. If you're going to start a business, you know, a lot of times there are people in your community who have knowledge about that particular uh, enterprise and might want to share that with you. There are um, books available. If you want to go on a trip, you know, you can always go to the internet and, and check into what's great about that city or that country and do some planning. So this card is a card of community and knowledge, and I hope it helps you. Thank you.